CRM shouldn't weigh your budget down. It should lift your teams up. A CRM shouldn't hide fees. It should save you money. A CRM shouldn't slam you with add-ons. It should work with the tools you need. A CRM shouldn't leave you in the dark. It should deliver insights clear as day.
Well, I said I would not do it again. And that's return to brick and mortar ministry. Well, God has a way of making a way when you have a plan that is not his way. I will return to the pulpit on the first Sunday in June at our new location, 581 Plum in North Memphis, right behind CC's Blues Club. But on Saturday, March the 30th, I will hold the rebranding and new organizational meeting of Naked Truth Liberation and Empowerment Ministries at 12 noon. If you would like to be a board member or advisor, meet me at 581 Plum on Saturday, March 30th. Oh, by the way, Naked Truth will have armed security in and out of the building at every worship service. Area-wide security and protection services licensed and bonded will be handling our security. I'm going to be looking for you for the organizational meeting on Saturday, March the 30th, Naked Truth, Liberation, and Empowerment Ministries. with Open Heart Community Foundation. Do you have loved ones that you're not able to take care of? Do you need somewhere for them to go and can't afford for them somewhere to go? We are providers for the State of Tennessee Choices Program. We take United Healthcare and we also take Amerigroup, which is now well point. If you need someone to help you out, contact me, 901-409-1228. Memphis and the surrounding areas, Regroup Upscale Thrift Boutique has opened in the heart of Frazier. We carry many name brands ranging from various sizes and styles. With new arrivals of clothing, accessories, gift items, and more with pricing starting as low as $3. All the proceeds help empower the Husband Institute Boys Mentoring Program. So come and shop at Regroup Upscale Thrift Boutique located at 3754 North Watkins. Great prices, great people, great products. Do you need a custom design t-shirt made for any occasion and you don't know where to go? Well, you want to call D2G Screenshots, owned by my good friend, John Olam. John specializes in direct-to-garment printing. You can put anything on a t-shirt that you can take a picture of. You just snap it, send it, and wear it. No design is too hard for John. John will fix your t-shirts up in a matter of days and have it back to you. Whether it's for your business, whether it's for your community organization, whether it's for your girls night out, whether you've got a motto or a theme that you want the world to know about, John Olam and D2G is the place to go. In fact, he's been doing the Cussing Pastor t-shirts now for a number of years, so I strongly recommend him. Call 279-0434, that's area code 901, 279-0434. John got you. The biggest hazard to Memphis drivers other than car-to-car -car collisions is potholes. Well, you need a tire you need to go to Tri-State Tire Wholesale located at 3278 Democrat Road at American Way. They specialize in new and used tires. 
I don't care what it is that you drive, whether it's a car, a truck, tractor in the field, a motorcycle, SUV, or a semi-truck, Tri-State Tire Wholesale has the tire or tires for you at the best price in the Mid-South area. Every brand known to man is carried at Tri-State Tire Wholesale. Don't look anywhere else. Tri-State Tire Wholesale, 3278 Democrat Road at American Way. Call them at 901-795-0707. 901-795-0707. It's the first year anniversary celebration for Bishop Stapleton and Friends. Easter Sunday, March 31st at 3 p.m. Featuring So Amazing of St. Louis. Calvin Delights, Greased of Jackson, Tennessee, The Highway Humanizers, God Sent, New Chris and Reunited, The Gospel Writers of Jonesboro, Arkansas, New Direction, The Brown Four, Lady Jeanette Bethany, and many more. Make sure you save the date. Easter Sunday, Bishop Stapleton and Prince, first year anniversary celebration, March 31st, 2024. Doors open at 2 p.m. Program starts at 3 p.m. Greater Bethel, Church of God in Christ, 1672 Best. Memphis, Tennessee. Ten dollars in advance. Fifteen at the door. Twenty-five dollars special VIP and souvenir. Come one, come all. Easter Sunday and help celebrate Bishop Stapleton and Friends first year anniversary celebration. Be there. When death comes to your family and you're left in charge of putting together a celebration of life program, you want that program to be memorable, beautiful, and to project the marvelous life that your loved one lived. Well, for your full program, you don't have to search or look around. You just need to call the obituary queen, D. Ferris of Ferris Media and Marketing and Alpha Omega Monuments. D. takes pride in special design and production of your loved one's memorable program after the funeral and your loved one is buried and you want that burial spot to be memorialized forever call D for your monument D Ferris and Ferris Media and Marketing Management can take care of all of your print needs both church and professional and anything that you need D can get it done. You're looking for a graphic expert? Call D at 901-440-6643. That's 901-440-6643. Or go by 2960 Chelsea at Warford. world-famous Nashville casket sales is now serving Memphis and the surrounding areas. These legendary tribute caskets elevate any celebration of life ceremony. The sky's the limit on our completely customizable wrap caskets. From family photos to album covers, hobbies, our sports teams, we've got you. Let us create something special for memorializing your loved one in a way only Nashville casket sales can. At a cost half or more of any funeral home. Our caskets are accepted at every funeral home nationwide. Call our regional sales executive at 901 Nine four nine three thousand. That's nine zero one nine four nine three thousand.
got the Monday eating name to you. Good God Almighty. Yeah, it is Monday evening. Bless your hearts, my brothers and sisters. God is still a good God. Carson Douglas, wrapping caskets is wild crazy. Well, man, if you die, man, your people may want, you know, memorialize you by putting you on a casket. Um, black people are doing some crazy things. Uh, the casket is a t-shirt now and you won't see white people with a wrap. Damn. Yes, you do. Yes, you will. Yes, you will. You will see white people if they want to spend the money to be in a wrap casket. That's their business. See, we as black folk, we do some crazy things in a way for uh, for funerals, t-shirts, and or is that, none of that, none of that makes any difference whatsoever. But, you know, you spend your money on what you want to do. You know, and, and the sad thing about black folk is that you will have money for a t-shirt and all of that and don't have no insurance. I uh, I was looking at the fact the the young lady Miss Plumbing's plumbers, the young lady that was killed last week in the uh, fight between the children. They um they have a GoFundMe. Why is it that you live your whole life doing everything that you do? You drink all the liquor you want, you smoke all the dope you want to smoke, you go to the club every week, and you don't have no insurance. And when you die, folk got a penny up. To bear with you. You know, the other thing that happens with us is that we fight over dead people's belongings. I was talking to a dear friend of mine this weekend. She lost her father this weekend and she was telling me that she was having some problems with her brother and her sister and they wanted to know why she got everything. Okay. Well, people leave their shit to whoever they want to leave it to. She told me that the uh, her brother cussed out her daddy last week. Now he died, and her father had three cars. You know how them old men do. Had three cars. And she went and got one of the cars out of his yard. So Carson said, why, so if we barely can afford a funeral, why do extras? How is rent and groceries is? Let's thank y'all. I'm tired of being called it. Man, fuck you. Shit, your folk may dig a hole in the backyard and throw your head in and put some uh, 
lamb on you. Lamb keep you from stinking. So if, if folk want to, I mean, got money. If you got money and you want to get a personalized casket, then get that. But don't get no personalized casket and you ain't got no hole to put it in. Graves now or I mean, probably about the cheapest grave you're going to get in this area is probably about $1,500. When I buried my mama eight years ago, it was over $2,000. But I, I, I look at these drug people. You know, I look at these drug guys that be all on the social media pages spreading out what is supposed to be real money. And then when they die, they people got to have a goal fund me. Okay. It, 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 it doesn't make sense, but that's what we do. That's what black folk do. B black folk like the show that goes in to a funeral. Yeah. I, you know, I was around the funeral business a lot of years. Grew up working in funeral homes. And I've seen a whole lot of things that black folk do that white folk don't do. See, like white folk don't come to your house and pick your ass up and take you to the church and Take you get the church's uh, chicken or uh, Colonel Sanders chicken with the potatoes and green beans and uh, Coca Cola. They drop you off and you're gone. But I just I just thought I'd mention it since I saw the gentleman making the reference to the uh, to the caskets. Memphis, Tennessee. Nothing changes ever. From week to week, the killing does not stop. It doesn't even slow down. Young man lost his life. on Bill Street the other night. I don't know for what. But he lost his life. I was looking at Facebook and somebody taped him being put on the gurney and the little white girl was pumping his chest. But I looked at him, and I knew he was, he was gone. He was gone. He had that death look on him. Okay? He was gone. But, I, you know, I, I, want, I want to say something. There is nobody that we can blame in crime, for crime in this city but ourselves. Okay? Nobody else. You can't blame Paul Young 
You can't blame C.J. Davis. You can only blame yourselves for the fear that we are all living in in this city. I um I uh, left home Friday night, Saturday night for the first time this year I went out. And I don't call it really going out. I, my pastor, Pastor Ricky Floyd, was giving his wife a 60th birthday party. And I got dressed and went to that. It was a great affair. And when I left, it was at the rain, I don't play at the club. When I left, I got in the car, brought my ass to the house. I didn't stop to get no gas. I made sure I got some gas while the sun was shining. Because we live in fear. All of these people that are getting killed didn't expect to get killed. It wasn't on their agenda. I'm going to get killed today. They're going to shoot me today. I'm going to die today. I, 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 I look at that plumbing, plumber girl, plumbing, whatever her name is, pregnant with her fifth child out in the midst of children's shit with a pistol. So she's dead tonight because of being a damn fool. It it, 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 it it used to be a time that children could fight and a couple of hours go by and they playing hopscotch and shooting marbles and high-fiving each other. So what was the reason okay. what was the reason that these grown folk get involved in children's shit. Can't blame the white man no more. Hello. We used to talk about it's a white man's fault. You, you, you want to blame everything on of being a slave. You can't blame nothing on the white man. White man scared of you niggas too. Shit. The white man is scared of the nigga too.
But here she was, pregnant with her fifth child. Probably ain't got no husband, ain't got no boyfriend at work. And you have to fight. With a gun, waving a gun. Instead of trying to break up the children, you out there fighting. You egging it on. Get that motherfucker. Don't let that motherfucker hit you. And we sit back and we say nothing. Preacher on Sunday morning won't dare touch it. Preachers ain't preaching on it. Preaching on is preaching on dying and going to heaven. And you living in hell. The sermon at the church house got to change. So you ain't gonna want to hear what I preach on Sunday mornings at Naked Truth. See, all you denominational church members, y'all ain't shit. There are 3,000 black churches in Memphis. Okay? There are 3,000 black churches in Memphis. Sometimes you can stand on the front porch and see four churches. But the church ain't doing a motherfucking thing. Hello? What are we what are we saying on church Sunday? Yeah, I believe in prosperity. God is a prosperous God, and God wants us to be prosperous. But goddamn, see, the church thinks that if a preacher is not reading out of the James King James Bible, he ain't preaching. Oh, you that ain't the, that ain't God's word. Guess it is. Everything I'm saying to you right now is God's word. Get up off your goddamn knees. I'm tired of the Negro. I'm waiting on Jesus. I'm waiting on God. He gonna come and see about us when after a while. When? Yeah. When? I don't do no motherfucking recaps. If your ass don't get here on time, motherfucker, uh, sorry for you. When? You 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 you, you go to church. Fred changes things. Fred changes the conditions of things. But you got to do more than pray. You got to have some faith. You got to put some faith into action. I don't give a fuck about who your bishop is. Your superintendent is. 
your jurisdictional bishop. Your presiding bishop. But what are you going to do when you get up off your damn knees? The black church ain't shit no more. Yeah, I said it. The black church ain't shit no more. The black church used to have strength. Used to be that the preacher stood for something when he got in that pulpit. He wasn't scared to talk to the people. But now, Reverend Dr. Chicken Bone is scared. Naked to liberation and empowerment ministries. I'm going to say some shit that ain't popular on Sunday mornings. If your son, daughter get killed and they, they wasn't going to church, don't come to me talking about can we have you can we have the funeral at the church? Hell no. Hell no. Go to the funeral home. That's the reason it's called funeral home. Cause see, I saw something on Facebook the other other week. Was it last week? Week before last. The man in the casket, they was closed, and this skinny ass motherfucker. Don't look like she done ate ever in her life. She was so skinny. She up all doing this. Well, she had the right preacher, whoever he was, Reverend Pastor, because I would stop the film. Well, stop. Musicians, stop, stop. Tell the good thing, quit motherfucking texting me, motherfucker. Shit. I don't give a fuck about you. Because when we look at Memphis, all we want to do is pray. The black church. Let me tell you something. The white church is stronger in the black community than the black church is in the black community. Don't get mad when the white folk come to your community with their buses and get your black children and take you to their uh, white churches, give them some milk and cookies and they play games and shit at the white people church. We become the mission of the white man in his Christian role. But the black church, we have 20 churches on the street and ain't helping nobody.
I don't care. You, 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 man, quit following me. If you've been following me since the ninety, and you, your motherfucking dick sucking ass motherfucker, you gonna keep on uh, bothering me while I'm talking. Kiss my ass and call it sweet. Rosalind, let, let me correct you on something. See, the church don't soul, save no souls, no way. Mm. No, 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 no. I, I preached on that yesterday. The church does not have power to save you. Hello. The Bible says in Romans 10 and 9, If thou, that's be, be me, shall confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in thine heart that God raised him from the dead, that's it. Okay. That's it. That's salvation. Jumping over a damn pew, going on a moon's bench, don't mean shit. God ain't in the moon's bench. The mayor is silent. Okay, what you need the mayor to say? See, you niggas... I don't give a damn what the mayor said. You niggas gonna keep on killing niggas. Ain't nothing gonna change in Memphis. There is nothing positive I can say about the city of Memphis. What did you expect this mayor to do? The white folk paid him. They brought him in. He has to follow instructions. The white man don't buy you without giving you uh, uh, some instructions. Yo, boy, y'all kill me. This is his town. He needs to speak to the people. Jesus spoke to the rock. What the fuck you want him to do? Tell to get the good thing. Please be glad I don't know who you are. Because I go dig your mammy up and piss on that bitch tonight. I go rent a back hole and t go out there to the cheap cemetery where your mammy is. Dig that bitch up and piss on that bitch. Quit fucking with me. Memphis is a destructive town. Church of God in Christ, where you at? You got all these folk, Brandon, Porter, all, all, all these millionaires that have been made out of the church of God in Christ. What is your million dollar structures doing to, for the black folk in this community? Nothing.
Memphis didn't murder King Bolton. Niggas killed Martin Luther King. Jealous ass preachers kill King. James Earl Ray was a Pepsi. What you doing, but but following you? You got all the niggas running out to your church. You're flying in the air and all that shit. Baptist doing to make Memphis a better place. All your members from Memphis. He may have been murdered in Memphis. That don't mean shit. But the niggas set him up. Niggas planned the death and the assassination of Martin Luther King. First of all, King had fuck Brown Baptist. If you're mad, scratch your ass and get glad. That's what my grandma used to say. These niggas, politicians, y'all put in power, in power, okay? You put them in power, and uh, they're the first ones to turn on you, okay? They're the first ones to turn on you. Al Shopson. <laughs> Did you think that Brown, that uh, Al Shopson preaches these funerals for nothing? No. But there's some shit going on in this city. And I can't think of anything positive to say. To say about Memphis. I can't say anything about our leaderships. And I'm not even talking about the white leadership. I'm talking about these lion ads 
black folk who ran I don't give a fuck if Bartholomew or is your uh, your pastor. I ain't gonna keep my mouth on it. I'm gonna speak whatever I want to speak. I ain't scared to speak on any motherfucker. Where's the NAACP? <laughs> Woo. The National Association for the advancement of colored people. Ain't shit. I can't think of any black leadership right now, and especially here in Memphis. What happened to black Warriors. White man. Created. A modern day. Slave trade. And I, I'm looking at something, Michelle Brown, you're right. It ain't just the white man's fault. Or he planted the money. But the niggas took the money. And, and, and when you try to tell the truth and you try to stand up what for what is right, it's you niggas that have something negative to say about people that can't be bought. The reason that you got Paul Young and you don't have Willie Harrison is because the white folk knew that if they put enough money in a black man's hands and put other niggas in the race and pay them to get in the race, they would get their man elected. Memphis, Michelle, y'all should stop taking Memphis offerings and dues. No, you can't stop financing the ministries. Uh, yeah, I'm going to say that. You can't finance, stop financing the ministries. The ministries can't operate without some monkeys. Buildings and you you want the feed for why are they gonna get the food from if you stop financially supporting ministries when you come talking about your bills and all of that thing and you need the assistance of the ministry why are they gonna get some money if they ain't got no money Yes, Jesus did have a treasurer. Some of you, and I'll go back and read the uh, comments some tonight.
you don't understand naked truth. It's the truth without any covering on it. It's raw. And I tell it like it is. You hate me. I, 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 I get. Well, don't know why I like you, Daddy. Is right. I'm good for. Why? Why don't you like me? Have I done anything to you, personally? Never. But well, I don't like the way you talk to the people. You talk a lot, but we never see you on the front lines in Memphis. What front lines? I ain't marching with a motherfucker. The activists, the so-called activists now, but they worthless as <coughs> too busy right now fighting among themselves. Yeah, calling each other names and getting uh, restraining orders. They too busy being shit stylers among themselves to fight for the shit that needs to be done in this community. Y'all want to protest. Go and protest. We can tell you, we can tell you, we can tell you we used to be friends with Pastor Orr, Brandon Porter, Frank Randy, and they won't let you in their circle. I ain't trying to be in their circle. On just like me. They got a dick like me. Now, I don't need them. I've been knowing them preachers all my life. Basically, Brandon and I came up in North Memphis together. I knew all when all started in North Memphis. I stand on what I believe in. And I don't give a fuck. Look, I don't give a fuck what you say and think. I don't care. I ain't trying to be their friends. I ain't hooping and hollering. I did the hooping and shit when I was a young preacher. I'll be 67 years old, April the 1st. And I'm trying to say this little energy I got and breath. It'd be hard to breathe sometimes. I'm like, shit. No. But what 
we're going to do at Naked Truth Liberation and Empowerment Ministries. And one of the things I'm looking at, I'm looking at Memphis, oh, the health of, well, once again, well, y'all get y'all EBT cards at, Department of Human Services. One of the things I'm looking at doing with Naked Truth is restarting my program again. In feeding folk. I worked with the food bank four, five years ago. We was feeding folk, giving them two and three bags of groceries. I want to, these young ladies, and I see that Channel 13 copied off of me. I did the show a couple of weeks ago on EBT, uh, where y'all cards, how y'all stuff being spent in New York. I want, I want to be there. I, not just for members. Zinga, sit down. Sit. Okay. Don't be hitting me. Not, not just for white, black folk. I had folk wrapped around the building coming to get some groceries and some something to eat. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do it again. I don't give a fuck what you think about me. I'm going to do it a goddamn again. Are you going to start back helping people find a job? Now y'all want me, y'all, y'all want me to be a miracle worker, right? Huh. I did that before. I found jobs for those who had felons. We're going to do it again. I'm looking for 12 people to be on my advisory board. We want to be a, a we want to minister. And minister to the people. It's not hooping and hollering, running and speaking in tongues. I buried a whole lot of people. I paid for funerals. And you know, you have the nerve to somebody, I don't, I don't like you. I had truck driving jobs. I had a lady that had a trucking company and taught you how to drive big rigs, get your CDLs. I did that.
See, I'm from a little place in North Memphis called New Chicago. Where the old Firestone plant used to be. Old Manassas High School. I'm from the hood. I've set up when we were on Malcolm or a blessing box. It was a big box and I might do it again. Michelle, you ain't gonna sign that shit on my on my page. Go to uh, Rufus Randolph, whatever his name is, uh, and do that that shit. Don't do it here, because I will block your motherfucking ass faster than a cat can lick his ass. The pool box was a great big box that was full of groceries. Didn't have no key on it. Didn't have no lock on it. But it was there so that if I had sugar and flour and salt and pepper and all things like that in it. So that if you live in the projects or the apartments across the street or you lived in the area and you was fixing your your children some some room and noodles and whatever it was and you ran out of uh, this mix and that mixer or you ran out of room and noodles The box was there. And all you had to do if it was 2 o'clock in the morning, I keep a couple of dozen eggs in there. Them big eggs, too. Not them Easter eggs. Don't call me and answer no phones. I'm talking. But it was there for the community. So, Brian, I'm going to be looking for you next Saturday at the organizational meeting. Ms. Turner. We must be about the people. Damn telling you about going to hell, going to heaven. I'm trying to get you out of hell now. Stout junk. Whatever Paul does on this page. And if I don't say nothing about it, motherfucker, shut up now. You'll be gone. Paul supports the ministry. Even financially supports the ministry. Let me let me take care of some business and I'll be back. Well, I said I would not do it again. And that's return to brick and mortar ministry. Well, God has a way of making a way 
when you have a plan that is not his way. I will return to the pulpit on the first Sunday in June at our new location, 581 Plum in North Memphis, right behind CC's Blues Club. But on Saturday, March the 30th, I will hold the rebranding and new organizational meeting of Naked Truth Liberation and Empowerment Ministries at 12 noon. If you would like to be a board member or advisor, meet me at 581 Plum on Saturday, March 30th. Oh, by the way, Naked Truth will have armed security in and out of the building at every worship service. Area-wide security and protection services licensed and bonded will be handling our security. I'm going to be looking for you for the organizational meeting on Saturday, March the 30th, Naked Truth Liberation and Empowerment Ministries. with Open Heart Community Foundation. Do you have loved ones that you're not able to take care of? Do you need somewhere for them to go and can't afford for them somewhere to go? We are providers for the State of Tennessee Choices Program. We take United Healthcare and we also take Amerigroup, which is now WellPoint. If you need someone to help you out, contact me, 901-409-1228. So many of our young men and women are being killed on the streets of Memphis and loved ones are left begging for a way to either bury or cremate them because while they have insured their cars and their phones, they have failed to insure themselves. Well, there is no excuse. Call Joe with Lincoln Heritage Funeral Advantage. Joe can get your loved one insured for $30,000 for as little as $15 per month. Or either if your loved one is a male between the ages of 18 or 25, he can be insured for $30 per month with a $160 thousand dollars accidental rider for only thirty dollars females twenty five dollars lincoln heritage is affordable and has fixed rates lifetime coverage no examinations no waiting period on most cases coverage for all ages up to 100 years of age fast claim payments 24 to 36 hours. Also, Joe has a senior hardship plan, even for fixed income families. Call Joe right now. Make sure you put this number down. Joe with Lincoln Heritage, 901-864-0091. That's area code 901-864-0090. Call Joe. Hello, I'm Tanya Jones, developer and still full owner of On Demand Pain Relief Rub. It's exciting and humbling to see how On Demand is growing and evolving while still being the same product you trust, purchased, and love. The pain rub is 100% still the same, 100% drug free, 100% all natural, and I am 100% still involved. I created On Demand Pain Relief Rub after I began suffering with my own chronic pain. And yes, the results have been amazing. You may see the new branding, 
the new look, and the new website, all coming from me, the same person that has a heart to help others deal with their chronic pain. Go ahead, place your order, or stop by any of the locations to pick up yours. I thank you so much for your support and trust. I am Tanya Jones, 100% owner of On Demand Pain Relief Rub. Are you looking for a place to go on the weekends other than the club? Well, let me tell you about the newest hottest spot in town, and it's Martha's Daiquiri Factory, located in 8553 Macon in Cordova. Look, they have over 140 daiquiri. That's right, over 140 daiquiri, plus they got good food also. Look, you get daiquiri like the drunk Jack Frost. Mmm, mmm. The pink strawberry, strawberry, Hennessy. <laughs> the lemon drop, mango, whiskey, sour, jungle juice, and my favorite. And we're gonna call it the Cuffing Pastel Special. It's called Hideos Motherfucker. If you're tired of the kitty atmosphere and you've grown and you want to be in a grown person's atmosphere, Martha's Daiquiri Factory is a place for you to be. Weekends, they've got big flat screen TVs, they've got a live disc jockey, they've got food, Martha's Daiquiri Factory. 85, 53, Macon and Cordova. Monday, my God bless your heart, 8.16 is the time for the Bats and Blues and Southern Soul. Start me, start your morning, brother, with me at 6 a.m. D.A. can't touch what I do in the morning. 40-something years of doing this. One of these days I'm going to retire. But right now i got too many irons on the fire. A friend of mine today called me about he started a new network. and I want you on there for free. I know why you want me on free. Because people follow me. So, woo. Yeah, Paul's the vibe. They don't like me, but they'll beg me for some help. A lady called me today. Uh, I didn't know her from Abraham Lincoln. Her uh, niece, daughter, or something was missing. Had been missing since last week. Uh, And um, the guy that's supposed to have her was going to let her go for a thousand dollars. I was going to do the show on that tonight. Um, but she called me this evening and told me that the young lady had been found. Okay. So that's that on that. People call me for a lot of things because 